Hello, this is Rupinder Syal and welcome to Spartan Tutorials. Today we are going to talk about an important assay which can be used to label apoptotic cells, the cells which are undergoing programmed cell death and that is called the tunnel assay. It was developed in the 1990s and still it is used routinely in the cell biology labs to detect cells which are undergoing apoptosis. So let's talk about tunnel assay. Now apoptosis is a normal part of life for multicellular organisms. A very dramatic example of apoptosis is the formation of digits. So the skin between the digits usually undergoes programmed cell death or PCD or apoptosis. And that's why we don't have webbed feet and hands just like other animals but we have space between them and there are actually genetic disorders where this apoptosis is sometimes blocked and this leads to people with fused toes okay so very very important uh, process uh, it also takes place routinely in cell renewal and cells which are actively uh, producing new cells for example skin uh, skin cells and small intestinal epithelial cells, these undergo apoptosis a lot. So these are some of the conditions that happen during apoptosis. There is chromatin compaction, condensation of cytoplasm, breakup of nuclear envelope, nuclear fragmentation, cell fragmentation which helps, which happens, and then finally phagocytosis by phagocytic cells. And another interesting phenomenon that people noticed about apoptosis is that there is intensive DNA fragmentation. Apoptotic cells were found to produce this laddering effect when they analyzed their genomic DNA. So it showed this huge ladder effect when they were analyzed uh, for presence of DNA. So the tunnel assay, it actually has a long name. Let's let me try to say it, it's a mouthful, but let me try. It is terminal deoxyribonucleotidyl transferase mediated DUTP digoxygenin NIC and labeling. Okay, it's quite a mouthful, even more mouthful than CRISPR, right? But it is pretty simple concept to understand. Let me go through it. So it was identified back in the 1990s, two papers, one in 1992 and another in 1993, independently developed this technique. So here is the idea. The idea is that there is fragmentation of DNA. That's what the concept derives from. So you have normal eukaryotic DNA with chromatin and nucleosomes wrapping the DNA. There is linker DNA, which is uh, present between the nucleosomes. And when there is DNA fragmentation, This can be detected by adding terminal transferase. Now terminal transferase is an enzyme which can add nucleotides without the need of any template. Okay, as we just discussed in one of our videos about 17 must know biotechnology enzymes, you can refer to that. So terminal transferase helps with that. So if we add DUTP along with a label, usually biotinylated, what will happen is these labeled nucleotides will add to the three prime ends of the DNA and they can be bound by enzymes, for example, alkaline phosphatase, which are labeled with avidin. So avidin can bind to biotin and then this alkaline phosphatase can be used to generate color. Similarly, fluorescent molecules can also be labeled and they can be directed to these DUTP molecules. So here is the schematic. Here we have apoptosis and DNA cleavage. So it leads to DNA breaks. We add terminal transferase and we add BRDUTP, so labeled UTP. It attaches to the three prime ends and it leads to polymerization. Then fluorescent probes can bind to these 
BRDUTP molecules. So these there are multiple methods of doing this. Either we can use alkaline phosphatase or BRDUTP, but the idea is still based on DUTP with some sort of label. And then using enzyme or fluorescent molecule to detect where it is happening. Okay, that's the idea. So here we can see the original results from the 1992 paper. The cells of in small intestinal epithelium, they go from the crypt area to the villus. They're constantly moving in this direction and they shed themselves into the lumen of the intestine. Okay, and as they shed them, there is apoptosis before that. And this was detected by tunnel assay, as you can see in this labeling. So this is the lumen L of the small intestine. This is the villus, the intestinal villi, and this is the crypt, okay, C. And you can see the apoptotic cells labeled by that, okay. And here you can see apoptosis in mouse tongue tissue, both in the enzyme labeled colorimetric reaction as well as the fluorescent reaction. So the idea is pretty much simple, okay, and you can detect it quantitatively as well as qualitatively. But there are also limitations to this assay, and I would like to point your attention to these limitations because a tunnel assay is not specific for apoptotic cells. It was later on realized that it also stains many other types of activities going on in the cell. So for example, it also stains necrotic cells, so cells undergoing necrosis, which is another type of cell death not related to apoptosis. It also stains cells undergoing DNA repair, cells damaged by mechanical forces, so shearing or shedding of DNA, and cells undergoing active transcription. So tunnel assay is not very specific and we have to keep these things in mind, but it is still a very good hallmark assay for detecting apoptotic cells. Okay, so that was my discussion of tunnel essay. I hope you like this discussion. If you have any comments or questions, please let me know in the comments below. As usual, please give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and do subscribe to my channel for more educational videos like this. Till the next time we meet, take care and bye-bye.